Well, hello everybody. Uh, Uncle Wooly here with, uh, well, technical difficulties today. <laughs> I am so sorry for starting late. Uh, things just were not cooperating with me. So it's like uh, my Monday skipped a couple days. So it's always good to be here with you. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Mattis Dog, Hagel. Hey, AC, good to see you back here. How's it going? Happy Wednesday, everybody. We're halfway through the week, right? We're halfway, at least. <laughs> Tell me we're halfway. <laughs> uh, still have one more stream after this, this week, with uh, Final Fantasy Friday and Crisis Core. And then next week will be uh, kind of the week where I have Fridays off. But I'll still be giving you guys some content, just uh, in a different format over on YouTube. Uh, I'll be uploading some chapters of On the Way to a Smile, and those will be an audiobook format. Sword, good to see you. And that book is actually behind me, now over here, that one right there. It's uh, basically a prequel to the events that happen in Advent Children. So if you're familiar with Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, it's the book that leads up to that movie. So it's kind of what's going on the next couple weeks. I'll be uh, skipping Final Fantasy Friday. Uh, but yeah, that will be there. And uh, I'm not a fan of gambling swords, so... Unfortunately, uh, no gambling here. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Hagel, enjoy your lurk, my friend. Enjoy your pint in the background. Uh, what are you sipping on tonight? Unless you've already hit your lurk. Um, for us, well, we need a hefty one. So this is Juice Force I IPA from uh, Voodoo Ranger. And it's, well, New Belgium Brewing. And it's a hefty 9.5%. It's a, it's a big one. And it's dangerous too. <laughs> Shame. I know. Shame. I know. Shame. It is a shame. It is a shame. Wimpy, welcome in, dude. Um, this one is dangerous because it's very, very easy drinking for a nine and a half percent beer. So that's why I only put one within uh, drinking distance at all times. Well. A maximum of one because these ones are dangerous they're very very dangerous and as we're pouring the rest of our uh, stream beer I suppose I could give you a little bit more puppy cam Roxy went to the vet today and got her long nails trimmed and she is a very happy girl not happy at the time she absolutely despises going to the vet but she is very very happy to have trimmed nails and she did get to go get ice cream afterward. So she is a very, very happy girl. Very content. We always see you drink, but I don't think... Um, I think the maximum I've had, like on a 12-hour stream, is probably like... Maybe six? maybe six I don't like to get drunk on stream <laughs> don't like to get drunk on stream you know but I'll have a few I'll, I'll hang out you know cheers everybody oh, that one's so tasty it is very crispy all right well, God of War, this will be part eight of the playthrough of uh, Ragnarok, so I'm very, very excited. In and out, while I work away at Final Fantasy XIV's, oh, nice. Uh, wish you the best of luck with that, AC, and thank you uh, for coming back in. You uh, joined with the Shadow Raid on Monday, so it is much, much appreciated. I sincerely appreciate how different our brands and styles are. Me too. Me too. It's all, all about contrast, right? And also uh, how we can be so different yet similar. That's also very, very fun to me. All right. God of War, right? That's where we're at. And let me know if I need to boost audio or change it in any way. I did change it up a little bit. I think I need to boost it one more level here. This game actually, uh, compared to other games, runs really quiet. Did you notice that, Mattis Dog? Did that happen to you too? 
I found that this game runs pretty dang quiet. It's not a bad thing. It's just uh, it's just a little bit different. And we just got uh, control of Atreus again. And we uh, climbed up to uh, Asgard. And Odin gave us some new clothes, you know, trying to be our nice new dad. Work. What needs work? Uh, let's see. Well, let's go ahead and craft the Aesir bow. Why not? Man, it is really going to chap uh, Kratos' hide Boy. when we... Uh, Boy. <laughs> Boy, 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 when we show up wearing all Asgardian uh, outfits here. Oh, Bo Baggins, good to see you, dude. Good to see you. Uh, instead of PS5 audio, I just have stuff running through my desktop audio, so it's pretty much, oh, yeah, that is fair. That is fair. Um, I wanted to change my outfit. Boy. Hobo Baggins, how the heck are you, dude? And for those unfamiliar, Hobo Baggins recently did a playthrough that he recorded for YouTube. Um, that uh, friend of the channel, I'm not sure if Craig or Cup of Craig has been over here, but Cup of Craig uh, over at Hobo's channel, if you see him from time to time, developed a game. And uh, what's the name of the game? Can you put that in chat, Hobo? Because I've, uh, I've completely forgotten the name of the game. But... If you want to go say hello to Hobo Baggins uh, and support his YouTube channel, go ahead and do that. That That's the right one, right? Pitch Silent. That is it. And did I get the correct YouTube link? I did. Look at that. Yeah, go check it out. He just uploaded uh, his playthrough. Yeah, go do it. <laughs> Uh, Jotnar Champion Guard, Garb, rather. Man, those Aesir threads look sweet, though. There's no way we can not wear that, right? We have to. Uh, I did not catch your post, uh, Jim story, unfortunately. Um,. The semester started back up at the uh, college I work at, so it's uh, work's been a little hectic. So I tried to catch as much as I could before you started gameplay, but I, I did miss the uh, the post gym. <laughs> Whoa, Loki! Right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know. His? My brother's. Your brother. Uh oh. Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Fruit thirst, Doctor. <laughs> you got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Wow. Very high opinion of her own brother. Walk with me. That is quite interesting. Uh, don't forget your sword. Someone will clean that up. I like how this is humanizing Atreus once again. Because we had him punch the chest right away like Kratos did in the way that he, uh, you know, just thought it was so easy. And then he went to do it and almost broke his hand. And now she made this look easy and he got, he got humbled once again with this. And now he's seeing just how truly powerful 
um, the Aesir gods are. I'm really digging this. Um, but I'm curious how things are going to go with him and him and Odin. Cut it down for you guys. First gym session of the year after like a month of abusing my body. <laughs> Fat leg sesh, uh, sweating and heaving my off. On the short drive into town, I had to bail from my car and replicate the sick in the... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Hopefully you're doing well, but uh, that's rough. That is rough, dude. <laughs> and I'm sure they were wondering if you were a drunk driver or something, right? What's with this guy? So puking in uh, our hedge. What kind of sword is that? It's new. <laughs> One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. Valkyrie training. That's where nice. mom and dad sleep. Ever hear a thunder god snore? Cause you're gonna. <laughs> That's where Balder stayed. When he stayed anywhere. DJ wife, welcome in. Kids walking to school, people walking their dogs, watching the maddest dog just heaving You're his entire training? insides Sometime into the talk about it? I into was the hedge. To the great hall. But if you need to go to work, <laughs> grandfather's study is just down those stairs. <laughs> That's my room. Yep. Used to be Magni's. Guess I'm moving up. The menace. The menace of the neighborhood. The maddest dog himself. So how do you become a Valkyrie? First, I train till I'm the best I can be. Then I wait till Grandfather notices. And then I hope he and my dad can convince Mom it's okay. You know, my father and I, we encountered a whole bunch of Valkyries. Wait, what? Where? Promise to tell me everything. <laughs> I promise. Hold up. No, there isn't. Okay. I can run back, I think. You don't want to bother for study. He's all work. Because I ran to it, she just didn't say anything. There we go. And now she's, oh, the game must, uh, not know how to handle people going back. <laughs> You're being weird. Did you meet Loki? Oh, now he's got you involved with this? Involved with what? I'm being friendly. Isn't that diplomacy? You understand who this is, right? What his father did? You want him here, Mom? Come on, you're embarrassing me. In front of my we'll boyfriend. Talk about this later. I will. Maybe I'll give you. Let's shut up and drink. But something's different with the, the mink god. Sorry about her. Moms, right? <laughs> so, did you want to look around some more, or do you really need to get to work? Alder's son, he's kind of like the Norse god of justice, and I think, uh, oh, that is cool. Please do not involve me in your pathetic attempts to impress one another. Huh? <laughs> Come on, you haven't had enough Heimdall in your day? Let's go. What a roundabout way to commit suicide. Oh, they're talking about poisoning Thor? Wow. Listen, whatever grandfather is having you do, remember, this is your chance to prove yourself. That's all that some of us want. Oh, yeah. I'll try to do some good. It's pretty cool hair, not going to lie. 2023 red hair style goals. Uh, my current redheaded spaghetti needs a refresh. Well, uh, just give it this kind of braided kind of 80s blowout. Uh, and then just get like a streak of a little bit darker red in there. It'd be perfect. Super duper 
minor god in real life, though. I think there was like a single island which worshipped him. Hey. So he was a small streamer on Twitch, is what you're saying. <laughs> Just like all of us. Um... Catch you later. Yes, I, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes? Yeah. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see, the, this is you not letting me talk. <laughs> no, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and 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 a accept the answer you know I'm about to give. Ooh, does Voy get a sword? Looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since. Huh. Who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. Okay, I found out what his his uh, voice actor, the voice of Odin, reminds me of. Um, has a very George Carlin-esque quality to his voice. And I'm kind of like, if I picture George Carlin voicing Odin, I'm oddly very into that. Uh, it's honestly quite a shame that uh, he isn't still alive because it would have been awesome. <laughs> it would have been awesome to get a George Carlin voiced Odin in God of War. That just would have been chef's kiss. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. You're welcome. I found a magic sword in Odin's study. He says her name is Ingrid and that I can carry her while I'm here. She seems really happy to be getting out and seeing some action. Do swords get bored? I wonder where wonder where she came from. I wonder too. Oh hey. Okay, you just got a sword and you're and you're using a bow and arrow to bust open chests. Okay, kid. You got a bit to learn yet. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us to give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here to give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No, I'm more than that. And I found something that proves it. Okay. What is what it? be that, Odin? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like knowledge. Truth. All truth. All the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe. Save the people we love. I didn't notice his face tattoos earlier. Yeah. I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end. Looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. Oh. 
Okay. What's the broken mask for? You recognize any writing on it? Giants. These aren't from the Nine Realms. Sidioni Spita. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's the clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on. Let me know if you want any info, expansion on that line. Uh, as long as it's not spoiler-ridden, um, definitely. Uh, feel free to expand on it. I know you felt what I but if it's... Uh, are in there. Let's get them. If it's going to get revealed to me in a bit, then maybe hold on. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. All father. Don't do that. <laughs> What's next is chasing this down. Take this and this stealthy side of beef and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Ooh, Muspelheim. Nice. Muspelheim? The rest of the mask is here? It's where all father dropped us. This is never revealed, but I won't explicitly say, but try and scope some of the markings on the mask. You'll see that they're segmented into columns. Ooh. What do you think? Just take that and do your damn job. Oh, wrong button. Okay. Can we look at it in the codex? And there was a scroll we picked up, right? On uh, on the Gallarhorn represents the only known exception to the principle of bilateral harmonization in realm travel. Instead of a portal bridge uh, bridging the space between two realms, it is capable of rendering simultaneous passage between any number of realms, provided the existing infrastructure is established and the horn is powered by the breath of a sufficiently powerful god. I don't think so, only in cutscenes properly, um, but you might be able to use photo mode. Okay. So, let's take a peek. Where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? All Father thinks that you know what you're doing. So do it. Oh, I can equip it. Ooh, okay. All right, photo mode. All right, and field of view. No, we want to change our focal length. No, that's not going to be it either. We need our distance. Other way. Uh, let's see. Can we pop around Atreus here? Look kind of from this side. No, we need to zoom in a bit. Actually, yeah, just turn depth of field off. There we go. <laughs> I will pop that mask on as soon as we get back to gameplay. I actually need my eyes for this one, Arthur. <laughs> but I will uh, I will put that on as soon as we get into the gameplay here.
Yeah, this is not looking too familiar to me, uh, Mattist. Yeah, let's see if we can zip back around here. Like, it looks like the columns are completely different languages. Yeah, to the ones, like, near the nose there, um, towards the middle, kind of make me think either uh, Asian culture or even, like, a Inuit-based kind of hieroglyphics. But other than that, it's uh, I'm drawing blanks. So if they don't explain it. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me pick up more of the mask and then we'll find out. Weird. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. Okay, and I will get uh, the Iron Man mask here for Arthur. And welcome in, dude, by the way. Far left that we're looking at is Ancient Greek, maybe. Okay. Yeah, that's where, even before I looked at the mask, I expected some type of Ancient Greek or Roman. Uh, oh, yes. Iron Man. Uh, where is that at? under the desk <laughs> I usually keep it on the sides but not not usually under the desk okay Arthur thanks for the Iron Man I was gonna get that. <laughs> and Where's cue the music <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Well, that's a channel first. I get a battle with Thor by my side as Iron Man. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Arthur, thank you. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited to be able to see again. Oh, wow. HD. It's like going from VHS to 4K Blu-ray. My goodness. Listen. Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look, clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust? Hmm. Hmm. Don't bother getting up. Jump up! Good form overall, but not aggressive enough in my opinion. You're more than welcome to step it up. This is me trusting you. Okay. Not aggressive enough, but he attacks the enemies that we go for. <laughs> All right. So basically just keep going the same direction. <laughs> Where's the mask pointing us? Yeah. We're finding that out. Be patient, big one. The mask is uh pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She seemed... Hey, come look at me. Well, I'm gonna go look over here first. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, I know. Somehow I don't think the mask was telling us to go here. Thor, what the? Ah! Wait, Surtur Shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? Molten Lowlands. No, but I was thinking. Well, that's your problem. <sighs> yeah, stop thinking. Trials are just past that cliff. Might be something you and Thu can do together. First, we deal with them. <laughs> yes. Uh, had creativity with some characters, but this is pretty much exactly what he's like in the old stories. Lumbering, drunken unit. I Come on, Thor. Just, check just an out. absolute unit. Time. And voiced by Ryan Hurst. Ah, perfect choice of voice actor, too. <laughs> That's right. Just try it. You getting tired? Not in the slightest. An ogre. You worried? Not in the slightest. Oh, there we go. Yep. They did a wonderful, wonderful job with him. 
very impressed. Uh, wait. Oh, there we go. Can I get some help here? Since we're short on time, I'll humor Oh, didn't see that one coming. There we go. Nice. I think Thor did all the work there. The Father's waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on. Okay, summon spectral falcons that disrupt enemies and dive into the ground. Falcons apply uh, status of the equipped runic hero. Very cool. Uh, Moosefulheim was probably my favorite area of the 2018 game. Uh, I enjoyed it, but favorite area? I'm not sure time. about that for me. Um, what was the other one? Um... The other area, the maze and the, the like, the poison. I forget the name of that one. Thor's still busy. I should get to that shrine. Okay, that's where the mask wants us to go. But first, let's head to the shrine. We'll find the other piece when Thor gets back. Okay. Uh, yes. Niflheim. Hey, Ingrid. Do you trust the ace here? It was a bit grindy, but, uh... I mean, once I got it kind of figured out, and it's fun how it's always changing. That's only gonna happen if they think so it, each run through there was always unique. Uh, I really dug that a lot. There's the shrine. Did you think we could get to the shrine without enemies? Uh, can't you guys go fight Thor or something? Elka! Where are these things coming from? Jump up! As long as it doesn't turn into a white, we're fine. <laughs> Here we go. Anything fun back here? Nope. Nope. Give me some hack silver, please. <laughs> you know, for someone who was trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's Marvel. Maybe. 
You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? <laughs> and also maybe a storage closet. Nice. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. <laughs> the question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? Mm -hmm. It's not. Well, no. he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. But you kind of are, it's though. His words, not mine. <laughs> I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fine. But are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> From what I know, in that use of champ uh was was highly derogatory a sentient sword huh another marble Surters. no soul in it though so he's still out there somewhere a while back you talked about how the giants left you ever think about them all the time they're far from here far from odin and thor but i wonder what lands they've gone to what seas they've crossed why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? They just stopped? Oh, no, no, no. Look, it's because they fought together. Yep, they in love. Looks like they even became friends. Yeah, a uh, little more than friends. <laughs> Are they? Yeah. Um, Maddest, I think they're heading straight for the... Uh, um, give me a second. Um, nope, that's not it. I was going to say danger zone, but I need to watch my... Hey, phrasing! Sorry about that. <laughs> yes, uh, the best of friends. May yeah, maybe we can just... A uh, couple of those. I think they are. <laughs> oh, well, that's good for them. But it looks like their um, love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's Shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. Yeah, strictly platonic things. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just be careful. Please. You too, Loki. You know, like the kind of friends that combine and cause Ragnarok kind of friends. I think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the god of thunder? Uh... <laughs> Now that sounds like Thor. My father and I visited this place <laughs> the last time we were in Muspelheim. Feels like forever ago. Come on, why aren't you giving me the prompt? Oh. Because I went this way instead. Nice. Some treasure. First iteration of Ultron. <laughs> yeah. It's 
like Power Rangers, but they're not forming the Megazord. It's a little bit different. Okay. Of course. I admit, that was fun. There were mountains of corpses by the time I finished cutting down. <laughs> Lava ran red with their blood. Through, Will. Great. You want to help down here? Wouldn't think you'd need my help if you beat all those trials. Or did you just watch your father do it? Hey, what's taking so long? Here we go. You wouldn't believe the scores of these things I just killed. It was glorious. <laughs> I love his boasting. I think this you're is right. She be This is peak Thor. enemies. I know I was close to death there, but, uh, oh, Thor, come on, you could have gave me time. Uh, you could have gave me time to do that, because I was excited for the difficult battle, dude. Come on now. A tough hang. Um. be handling yourself well enough. I was trusting you. I mean, he doesn't seem like somebody I would want to hang out with. No offense. No offense to Thor. So, where to? Looks he doesn't like exactly he have oh, the yeah. winning personality. I had to do something while you were off fighting. Well, check again anyways. Fine. Through the gate, like I said. Thor? Ain't that impressive. Real god stuff. You are a god. You're damn right. And <laughs> so am I. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. Oh. Just randomly? <laughs> no! Ah! Damn it! Some advice. Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, Loki, don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid, but you're still a giant, and I'll revel in killing you too. Jeez. Yep, winning personality. Loki. Winning personality. Got brighter. Look, we did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. Oh, man. I love his Santa style hat that Odin has on right now. That would be sweet to get one that's just like legit fur and then leather and then has like a rune at the tip of it. Ah, oh, that would be so cool. That would be so cool. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team. Not sticking around? Because I still want to play this. Yes, definitely. No spoilers. <laughs> uh, but I hope you have a great stream. Wobble Pop, thank you very, very much, dude. Take care, and I appreciate you, my friend. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Can we get some hearts in chat for Wobble Pop, please? 
Let me just tell you about the origin of Santa hats. Well, isn't it Odin? I, I think I was pretty familiar with that. Um, but yes, please, please tell me. And also, Strufty, welcome in, dude. Um, Daisy carried us through Dark Souls 3 on uh, on Monday night. I was getting ready to give up. Like, I was that close. And uh, Daisy just wouldn't let that boss battle be. Um, Daisy said, we got to beat Vort. And beat Vort, we did. <laughs> With just like a sliver of health left, too. Uh, it was a good one. It was a good one. Daisy's doing awesome so far, dude. Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach you? <laughs> oh, I thought I was dead. <laughs> I was 100%. 100% convinced I was dead. Um, but the power of Daisy prevailed, dude. Exactly. Ah, I was wondering where that... Take care, went. Wobble Pop. Good to see you. Good Actually, to see you, dude. I had a pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. Hey! I really that's hey. my beer! That's my beer, but you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Demote, how is it going? How was the rest of your stream? How was the rest of Fashion Souls? Um, did you beat the gargoyles tonight? Did you beat the gargoyles tonight? Welcome in. Welcome in. Raiders, my name is Uncle Wooly. I play Dark Souls 3 on Monday nights. Wednesdays, I play God of War Ragnarok. And Fridays, bright and early is Final Fantasy Friday, currently working on Crisis Core uh, Reunion, the remaster of that Final Fantasy VII PSP game. How is it going? Thank you so much for that raid. Uh, it's going good. Gargoyles were easy uh, once I died a few times. Literally a piece of cake in the run where I managed to beat them. Excellent. That is great news. So uh, where did you leave off stream uh, on Dark Souls 1? Um, did you leave off just after the gargoyles, or did you get uh, a bit further into the game? I'm not going to give you any spoilers, because I know it's your first playthrough. But uh, congrats. And this is Demote's uh, strength build run, so give her some GGs, please. Uh, understand you just got done streaming, so if you do need to take a break and uh, step away, get hydrated, stretch your legs, get some food, please take care of yourself. And let's get you that shout out. There we go. If you haven't, go follow Demote. Uh, very, very chill streamer. Uh, very welcoming of her chat. And uh, plays a, a variety of games. Um, uh, Valorant, I think. Uh, also, of course, Dark Souls. Uh, uh, she has played many of the Zelda games. So uh, please go say hello next time she's live. Killed the Living Materials by the Blacksmith, and now in the Valley of the Drakes, and Blight Town, but I think I'm too... Uh... Oh, Blight Town. Good old Blight Town. Hello, Blight Town, my old friend. Yeah. <laughs> any of the swamp areas, or poison areas, or anything like that in any game are just awful. Uh, in any of the Souls games, and Blight Town is that for Dark Souls 1. <laughs> Um, I'm fairly certain, I'm not giving any spoilers, um, but I'm fairly certain that's where you need to go next, so I doubt you're too low level for that, if you've already take, taken down Butterfly and Gargoyles, but, uh, yeah, I wish you the best of luck. Blight Town is, is no fun. <laughs> no fun, but can we get some GGs? The Gargoyles, uh, they were that first big test, right? They were that first big test of, uh, of the game what it felt like to me anyway poison and toxic stacked on me oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> that is no good and also just a quick spoiler alert if any of you are looking to play god of war ragnarok we're on part eight so if you're avoiding spoilers uh feel free to raid and run feel free to lurk uh you're very very much appreciated and uh thank you very much for the raid demo thank you thank you oh, it wasn't to be a spy I need you to know you can trust me. 
Oh yeah, and Raiders, uh, if you haven't, if any of you haven't met my doggos, uh, there are the stream puppies. The one on the left is Roxy. She's a 13-year-old Jack Russell. The one on the right is Lucy, a 4-year-old Shih Tzu, both infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people stick out, stick around for them, and they hang out uh, and just tolerate mediocre gameplay and terrible puns in the meantime. But thank you very much for the raid. And I'm um, always remiss if I don't uh, introduce the raiders to the puppy dogs because they're the best thing about this stream. <laughs> Getting both is an easy way for health to go from zero or 100 to zero. Yep. <laughs> you shouldn't expect it to be fun as Blight Town, not Eight Town. <laughs> Strufty? That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one, dude. Yeah, you go from Ite to Blight in, like, a Thanos snap. And if I'm going to help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. <laughs> take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're going to tell me what Shame. you're looking for in that. Shame. <laughs> shame. It's okay. There's no shame in that, Strufty. You'd be proud of that pun. It was a good one. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust oh. me. In Maddest, uh, I missed your message there, so let me scroll up here. But man, I want that hat. I want that hat big time. I'll be lurking. Got to clean up before bed. Enjoy stream. No, enjoy your night, e e or demo. Jeez, I can't speak. <laughs> English evades me. Thank you very much for the raid. Can we get some hearts in chat for Demote, please? And uh, congrats again on beating the Gargoyles. Uh, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the rest of your uh, journey with Dark Souls 1. It's fun. It's a good game. Um, it's tough. It wants to knock you down every chance it gets, but it's a good game. Legend has it that uh, Berserker warriors, who were pretty much naked, hopped up on stimulants and shrooms, and donned in animal pelts, sometimes worse <laughs> that style of hat to, uh, or sometimes wore that style of hat to distinguish that they were a huge deal and about to likely uh, be sent to their deaths. Oh, very interesting. I did not know that. <laughs> Reminds me of those nightcaps that you'd wear at 3 a.m. while investigating a strange noise by candlelight. <laughs> and that's why I want it. Um, so you can just see Wooly wearing one of those. And one of those long, like, night shirts. I, I suppose I'd have to wear one of those, too. And then I'd be, like, peering into the darkness with my smartphone's torch. <laughs> Who goes there? What was that noise? <laughs> or, uh, you know, I could really lean into the American and go, What in tarnation was that? What in tarnation? <laughs> you always this hard on Thor? Seems like you're mad at him or something. Ooh, getting nosy. Getting personal. No, I get it. But it's nothing like that. It's, well, to be honest, it's the only language he understands. I'm serious. Go ahead and try <laughs> being nice to him. See where that gets you. I believe that. I 100% believe that. Skull and Hati. Panda want one of these. Oh, that is sweet. Okay, uh, anybody that can carve, um, I want one of those too. That is really cool. Isn't that a Greek instrument? wonder if Tyr brought that back. Oh, nice. All right, accessory, okay. And runic capacity. 
When using uh, runic summons, instantly re refill all runic heroes and empower them for... That is sweet. Let's do that instead. I can't do anything with that. Nope. Need pop a Kratos for that. Just a randomly floating boulder out there. Just seems strange. Excuse me one second. One second here. Just need to double check something. There we go. Okay. Okay. All good. Come along, Hoogan. I used to I love how comforting. Not sure I'll ever think of it the same way now. Love how we're just stealing all of the valuables. Oh, we never looked at this before. Is this old, or does he make them paint him young? <laughs> hey, you're back. How was it? Did father behave himself? Yeah, I mean... Better than I would have expected, I guess. Is that the sword from Grandfather's study? Oh, yeah. Her name's Ingrid. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Wow. All Father must really trust you. Mm, well, I don't know about you that. Your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow, we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. Oh, that is some awesome artwork. If there's anything that's worthy of a good uh, wallpaper, it's that. My goodness. That is amazing. That's heckin' cool. Yeah, the Valkyries are some of the coolest things uh, in these games. Really enjoyed them in the first one. Did you think that I would be? Pretty good sword. I'm sure it's fine. I thought you like. I'm not angry. I'm concerned. You know that's not what I want for her. You don't want her to have a sword. It's not about having a sword. It's about what you use it for. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. And I don't want that for her either, okay? You don't have to worry. She's a smart girl. Smarter than her father. Hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you're right, you're right. It's pretty simple. <laughs> uh, come here. Uh-oh. Yep. Time to stop listening, <laughs> Atreus. Stop listening. Um... There we go. Taken care of. <laughs> well, this has been a weird day. Exactly. Is 
Is he going to put the mask on? What a cool transition, my gosh. Continually amazed by this game. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? Probably not a good one. The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lads, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. <laughs> find them. Where do we search? Probably as cooperative as the fates of uh, of Greece. Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. <laughs> The boy seems quite capable. Perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness, his confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War as a first resort. That's not the fray I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Ooh. <laughs> Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. He's raining on their parade, but at least he's staying true to his convictions, you know? I mean, he has always stayed true to that since uh, we rescued him. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. <laughs> Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer him counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before, more than once, but believe me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Purpose. Purpose is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate? Lead your armies into war, secure your vengeance. If securing our justice is not your purpose, then find another for your own sake. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. 
Okay, just double checking a couple things here. Good to go. Don't try to talk me into coming. The Norns and their tales of our fates. It's everything I've walked away from. Okay, then. Don't help us. I get it. When you're ready to seek the Norns, I'm with you. Just taking a moment. Does it hurt? Oh, this? Only when I worry. <laughs> How would a trace get to Asgard? I'm sorry, but you'd have to ask Odin. He's got control of every path. I know how highly you esteem our expertise on such things, so I'm sure that's disappointing. He's just been one step ahead of us. Because he can see everything. Uh, <laughs> I like how it just has a statue of Freya. Uh, Ooh, that is cool. Too bad I can't craft that yet. That is awesome looking. Oh, I want that full set. I'm not a fan of red, but it really goes with uh, the whole aesthetic of Kratos. I need it. Yes. Oh, for the effects. What does it do? Barehanded attacks, parrying, and blocking have a high luck chance to deal bonus damage and poison. Ooh. Heck yeah. Oh, and then increased damage to poison. Okay. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Yep, that sounds exactly what I want. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Oh, yeah. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Madam Neethog? Madam Neethog, where have you gone? Neethog? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. Okay, shield is definitely going to go back to uh, Guardian Shield. And then, let's see. Freya. What about your accessory? Here we go. <laughs> that 
That's funny. Squirrel. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madame Nethog's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. Uh, about that. A friend of yours? Less a friend than another longtime tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible. Mm. Just terrible. Can we just tell him? We're not going to tell him. So we're just going to let this sweet, sweet squirrel worry about Neethog the entire time. Not cool, Kratos. And even Freya, not cool on you either. Yeah, not cool how they're just keeping that from him. Not a fan. We are certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. <laughs> we should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. <laughs> of course. Nice. At least she's honest, you know, with us. But okay with letting Redditasker, you know, worry about the dragon the whole time. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I got worried for a second. I saw those ribs on the ground, and I got really worried about those dogs for a second. Like Quiet. extreme anxiety for just a She's just a friend. moment. No. Better they get this from you. I'm like the game better not do us dirty like Once that again. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are. Wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants, oh. they herself, had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight, all of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Nope. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future. Excellent line. Excellent, excellent line. That bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Oh, yeah. Death can have me when it earns me. Just amazing. Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. 
Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Sikran. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrid was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrid helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal, wise, clever, tall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. Oh, there's Realm Terror. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Okay. Guess we can't do any of that yet. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life at that. How would that be as like your last words that you speak? Death can have me when it earns me. Just amazing. So death, when you take me, don't take me slow. Don't put it off when it's my time to go. Yeah. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home, is hard to explain. Win mines, not wars. Tyr understood the greatest fight of them all was the battle for people's hearts and minds. Too bad Tyr has no interest in doing either the... Gone etched into the helmet of the statue of Tyr. A radical philosophy for a god of war. Yes. And also, um, if you guys could, I just want to take a moment. Today is my nephew's birthday, and we played games uh, on Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. Uh, if you're familiar with that stream, that's the same nephew. It's his birthday today. So if you could sing along with me, we're going to sing happy birthday for him because I want to send him this uh, later on. But uh, yeah, help me wish him a happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Wyatt. Happy birthday to you. Seriously, dude. Happy birthday. I miss you. Hopefully you're doing well, dude, and uh, we'll talk soon. Happy, happy birthday, Wyatt. As I was saying, the Norn's home is called the Well of Earth. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's minds? Not so sure I like the sound of that. <laughs> this is the right area, but we can't go further on the sled. I agree with you, uh, Mimir. Have you encountered these norms? Not personally. <laughs> Fair's right. They have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. The wolves lead us here. I just hope the Norns are somewhere indoors, and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Yeah, I tried to call him earlier today, but uh, he's busy with school and uh, after-school activities and whatnot by the time I got on stream, so uh, hopefully I can send that to him and... I've already sent him a message today wishing him a happy birthday, but uh, he's a pretty cool kid and very, very smart for his age. Um, I just felt like I wasn't anywhere near that intelligent uh, when I was that old. Incoming fire! Oh, not 
second. Left side. There we go. Enemies to your left. Almost got out of there in time. Not quite. Sweet. I forgot about piloting those big boys. It is definitely a weird sequel to uh, Ratatouille. So it's Kratos, so is it Kratatouille? I suggest the ominous broken gravestone. Yeah, let's take a peek at that. The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. <laughs> Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Skofnung? Or is it Skofnung? Let's keep looking. This um, does it say anything about it in the Codex? Key items? The sword hilt of King Hrolf Kraki. Uh, Skolfnung is useless in its current state. Mimir warned it once contained great power. Perhaps there is a way to restore that power once again. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Now's no time to wander off, brother. Prayers found something. Ah, oh, come on. Open up. I just want to open up the shortcut. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mm. <clears throat> well, let's move ahead. Was there more of Odin and the Norns? No. Either he gave up or he wanted to forget what he saw. <clears throat> more bloody drogger. Oh. <clears throat> Ah! <laughs> 
Okay, so stay out of the fire. Got it. Yeah, I am hurting bad. Yeah, fire, not good. First death of the night, right there. Let's try again. More bloody dragon. You're on fire, Kratos. It will pass. <laughs> <laughs> there oh my lord <laughs> yep I am not doing good Oh, there. <laughs> we just bide our time in between uh, runics. This is tough. <laughs> nope, lock on. You need a lock on. Holy. Oh, and then I let the stray one hit me. <laughs> Dude, Maddest, have a wonderful, wonderful night. You stayed up way too late. Hopefully tomorrow treats you a little bit better. <laughs> hopefully uh if you're at the gym tomorrow uh you're not heaving um your insides into the hedge before so <laughs> take care my friend can we get some hearts and chat from Mattis dog and if you haven't gone and said hello to him when he's live uh please do so next time uh he did a whole week uh in kratos cosplay uh when this came out and busted through his pauldron at the end of it so go say hello to him uh, he's got a mouth that's far more foul than mine, <laughs> so expect some colorful language, uh, but a heart of gold from that lad, so go say hello, please. More bloody drogger. <laughs> You're on fire, Sleeton. It will pass. Oh, 
Yeah, that fire is pretty bad. There we go. doing okay <laughs> seriously have an awesome awesome night dude and uh hope to catch you soon oh nope that's not it i think we can get this battle i think we can get it it's possible that i'm a little under leveled for this but uh it feels doable Oh, there we go. Oh, pulled it back too soon. Nasty. You all right, brother? Yeah. Getting hit by the fire, not good. Helps out a lot. There we go. Well, I don't think she does it. I think it it dodges my uh, it dodges my throws too. I think it's just it dodging and not anything Freya is doing. There we go. That helps. Might be the run. Oh, 
Just need to play my cards carefully here. Because he can definitely one-shot me pretty much at any moment. There we go. Got him. Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress. Oh, got her. Too angry to die. We will see. There we go. Chaos spark. I'll be. Perfect. Let's see, we need this. Oh, we need to go around outside and shoot it from the outside. Hey, Lindsay, how's it going? How's it going? Uh, just doing a little bit of traversing of the Nine Realms with uh, Kratos and uh, Freya. Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome in. Uh, stream so far is great. Just uh, beat a difficult kind of mini boss and just uh, having a good old time with this game. This game is awesome. Have you played any of the God of War 2018 or this one? Uh, highly recommend them both. Any uh, weapons you're excited to restore? I guess I, I guess I'm not sure. Uh, AC. <laughs> um, yeah, doing quite well. Doing quite well. It's uh. Well, I suppose it's probably pretty late for you. I guess maybe early, early Thursday for you. It is uh, uh, well into the evening for Wednesday for me. Doing quite well so far. Also, uh, puppy dogs are doing well. I don't know if you met them last time you were here, but uh, Lucy and Roxy love to uh, love to hang out. Lucy is the Shih Tzu on the right. She is four. And Roxy is the Jack Russell on the left. She is uh, 13. And they both got ice cream treats today. Spoiled rotten. Yep. Absolutely spoiled rotten they are. <laughs> um, struggling to get into Ragnarok. Um, hmm. Um, it's really good. Story is really, really good. They're cuties, aren't you? Oh, big time cuties. <laughs> uh, Celeste, really good game. Uh, really infuriating game for me. Uh, frustrated me to no end multiple times. Um, but I found with that game really strange. I would I would get to a spot where I'd be absolutely stuck. And no matter what I did, I could not beat it. And then I would take a day, maybe even two days, maybe even a couple hours uh, away from playing it, come back. And like first try, <laughs> first or like second try, I swear. Uh, Celeste is a game of that. So if you're ever playing Celeste and you feel like just like at that limit, just step away and then come back to it. <laughs> oh, you're doing the B sides. Oh my goodness. I, I don't have the courage for that. I do not have the courage for that. It, it do be like that though. It's when you sought the norms last time. To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Set that aside for now. Come. Okay. Thing. We need you to respawn. Are you going to respawn? Oh, there it is. There we go. Nice. Got him. Got him. Yeah, it's good to see you. Um, I do stream at very unfriendly hours for our friends in the UK. The Mainly, I remember that uh, on Mondays and Wednesdays, but Fridays I stream uh, quite a bit earlier in the day. Uh, in, in the hopes of catching some of my friends that are over in Eastern time zones. So Fridays I stream at 5 a.m. Central Time, which is roughly like 11 um, in the U.K. 11 a.m. Fridays, uh, U.K. time. Uh, yes, very high skill cap. 
Uh, don't always have the focus to stay on any one game for long enough. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yes? Yeah? I think that's kind of the nice thing for me about switching games, AC. Like, every night of the week that I play, I do something else. And it kind of helps me out. You traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenge them, they threaten to undo my existence. Let's see, can I hit the raven from here? And turn their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. Nailed it. <laughs> these Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Ah, could you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. <laughs> I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. Oh, Mimir. You have a way with words, Brother, my friend. I'm sure your sense of smell is nothing to be underestimated. But if you still mean to find the Norns, we'd best let the wolves guide us there. Yeah, well, I want to find stuff. Loot is calling my name, Mimir. Live for dopamine hit I get once I finally get through a part I've been stuck on for ages. Yes. Yep. Yep. FromSoft uh, found a really great way to cultivate that with uh, the Souls genre. Uh, the dopamine hit you get from a Souls boss victory, unparalleled. Unfreaking parallel. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's nice to play different games. I found uh, playing a different game every day of the week kind of gives me enough break from that game to uh, appreciate it. It also allows me to get excited for the next week that I play it. And also, if I'm really at a difficult spot, it gives me that little bit of uh, that distance, you know. <clears throat> uh, to hyperfixate on a few games so my stock rotates every couple of months, uh, everything outside of that stock, uh, that is fair. I definitely feel that. <laughs> definitely feel that. Um, and after playing Dark Souls 3 for the first time on Monday night, I do want to play more Dark Souls. I absolutely do. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying this. It's a very beautiful game. The story is amazing. I think the story is a big draw for me here. Uh, it just keeps me invested big time. Um, but... The gameplay, especially, I don't want to give any way any spoilers for you, uh, Lindsay. I don't know how far into the game you are. Um, recent games have been. Uh, you might have to spell out some acronyms. I am. I'll, I'll warn you about this, AC. I am absolutely terrible with acronyms. Um, Final Fantasy fourteen, Persona five. Ooh, that's a that's a time sink right there. Uh, Pokemon Scarlet. Oh, and. Uh, yeah, you might have to spell those uh, acronyms out for me. I am sh sh full streamer brain. Oh, okay, Old School RuneScape and uh, Shin Megami Tensei. Ooh, nice. Aquila from the East. Not the first one I've seen either. The uneducated might assume the Aquila to be a weapon. They'd be wrong. The slightly less educated or uneducated probably believe the Aquila is used in ritualistic human sacrifices. They'd also be wrong. In reality, the Kila is used in rituals, yes, but never any to do with bloody sacrifice. Instead, the Kila represents st uh, stability and strength. You might stab a bowl of grain with it in order to ground yourself to the space you occupy. Despite its appearance, the Kila isn't a weapon of the bloodthirsty, but a tool of the holy. It can also imprison demons. Nice. In that vein of brutally unforgiving, they're very satisfying to beat. I haven't played any of them, but I am familiar with them, so uh, I can imagine. <laughs> I can absolutely imagine. All right, wolves. I don't see. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. How they're leading me somewhere, but. Uh... Who? Krimthor. The son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. 
Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. Old. The wolves are distracted. Kratos. A raider encampment. Shall we take care of them, brother? Yeah, sure. Why not? Why the heck not? I uh, recommend them for a fresh take on the usual JRPG gameplay. I really like the way they approach combat. I will have to check them out. Oh, nope. Nice. <laughs> of course, I defeat that uh, very, very difficult Draugr only to get beat by these uh, raiders. Come on. I was working through the uh, the pixel remasters of Final Fantasy on Fridays, uh, AC, and I did Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, and 4 last year, taking a break from them to do Crisis Core, and then I'm going to go back to uh, 5 and 6. Um, and then we'll see uh, how much time there is after that, because I want to play Final Fantasy 16 at release. So I'm hoping I can get through five and six, uh, but if we still have some time there, maybe uh, we'll we'll play another Final Fantasy game. But Fridays for me, all about Final Fantasy. They they really gripped me when I was uh, a teenager, and I just I'm a sucker for the music. And I'm actually going to Distant Worlds, uh, not this weekend, but next the weekend after. Um, Distant, uh, it's the 35th anniversary Distant Worlds, and I am so very excited. Very, very excited. Wonderful, wonderful music. Uh, one and two may be hard to get a copy of, but three had a recent PC port. Very cool. I'll have to check that out. Actually, I'm going to make a note for myself right now because I, uh, my short-term memory is very, very awful. Uh, and so, again, if I forget anybody's names or pronunciations or pronouns or, or anything like that, please correct me because my short-term memory is just awful. Three recent PC port. Okay. There we go. I've reminded myself. <laughs> I have I have to take notes. Yeah. I used to be really good at that. And then I found within the last couple of years, my short-term memory has gotten far worse. Impressive. Oh, wow. Um, that escalated quickly. Suspect that's all of them. These were coal raiders. Infamous for eating wolves. Atreus and I rescued ours from such an encampment. Yeah, I had a really big work project in 2020 um, that I was doing a lot of, like, 10 things at once uh, for about two months straight. And I know that kind of really wrecked my short-term memory. And then after I had COVID about a year ago, kind I don't think that helped me at all either. The coal raiders have been a blight on this land. The way they've abused its creatures. Perhaps we should do something about them. Perhaps. Up to you, brother. If the Norns know the future, no doubt they'll expect us to show up a bit late. Ooh, Tartarus Rage. Uh, two destructive blade slams that uh, stagger and launch enemies. Ooh. Yes, please. Yes, please. Absolutely. We will take that move. 
Oh, and that's uh, that's heavy runic. Nice. I didn't realize I uh, didn't have one yet. Yeah, let's see what this thing looks like. Ooh, that's tasty. That is nice and tasty. Okay, so we need to, uh, I can't reach that from here. Oh, but I can. Nope, we need her other arrows. There we go. Aha. Look at me using my big brain. All right. Where are we going here? I need three more of those, right? And where are they at? Probably down here somewhere. Okay. Aha. Nope. Okay, I thought maybe that tapestry was hiding stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, woolly brain. What are we doing here? Thought that thing would blow up. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's grab this. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Nope. We need to get a better handle on this thing. that one from here? I can. Oh, it says I can, but I can't. Okay. Oh, shoot. Are 
All right, that's two. Number three, where are you at? Um, how do you mean? How do you mean, Arthur? Oh, because we're uh, hanging out with Freya? I'm pretty sure she's far more likely to kill me uh, than to date me. I'm just saying. <laughs> it is a much greater possibility. Okay. Just seeing from here if there's any good vantage. I need one more of those. <clears throat> and it's eluding me to no end. It's not down. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, I can't shoot that many. Is there any way... Oh, maybe I can hit that with one of these and blow it up? Oh, that's true. That's true. He kind of had a couple different girls that were after him. Believe it or not. We had the daughter of Thor... And also, uh, can we not jump down there? And also his uh, giant friend. Or maybe we can just throw this at it from here. I doubt it. Oh, but it does trigger those. All right, we've got it then. Arrow. Arrow. Arrow, perfect. And we're gonna just go ahead and throw this. Nailed it. I love these puzzles because they really make me stretch my brain. And I know a lot of people that, that watch streamers are probably like, oh man, this one was easy. But I swear, as soon as I hit live, my IQ drops <laughs> tremendously. Yeah. More rage. We need more rage because we could have used that against that Draugr. Mimir, I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? That it tickled? Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. <laughs> um... No, I wouldn't be able to admit. No, I couldn't imagine that. Uh, mythologically accurate Thor. Now, if we could get back to the story of ah! King Thor, the stonemason's son, I was hoping to get Freya's version of what happened. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. Hold. I hear something large. No, I want the story. From Tyr's statue. Give us the story, man. Wish for peace. Be ready for war. Oh, that's astute of the elves. 
Tyr never sought war, but he knew he had to be ready for it. Aye. Gone etched into the spear of the statue of Tyr. I agree with this statement. Best be armed than not. Impressive looking weapon, isn't it? It is big. Ooh, an enchantment from the giants of Jotunheim that can be slotted into the amulet of Idrisil. Ah, uh, sweet. What does it do? Um, increases Kratos' maximum rage based on his vitality. Very cool. Yeah, good thing he's got, you know, just a little bit covering. <laughs> I see what you're going for there, Arthur. All right, let's do uh, a bean boozle, the fiery kind. And it is cayenne pepper. So we'll do a cayenne bean. Raven, you've been lurking there just to hit me with the bean boozled as soon as I got the fiery one. <laughs> you sly dog, you. All right. All right. Let's get our other bean going, too. Another double bean supreme. I almost feel like making that a separate redeem at this point. <laughs> If you want me to do them at once, you have to uh <laughs> you have to do the special redeem. Uh nope, it is gonna be toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Toasted marshmallow or stink bug to go with that cayenne bean. Which could be interesting, you know? Um, the stink bug, always gross, but, uh, the marshmallow with a little bit of heat, you know, sometimes sweet and, uh, spicy go together. All right. Um, Arthur, Raven, here's your beans. Take a good look at them. Here they are. The double bean supreme. Cheers. Spicy marshmallow. It's not toasty in flavor, but it could be like a toasted marshmallow. Mm. Oh. That is not good, AC. We don't have uh, stink bugs that come inside for us in the fall. But in like the fall to early winter, depending uh, the, the temperature, we get... Uh, they're like ladybugs, but they're not ladybugs. They're uh, some type of lady beetle. And they're kind of like yellow colored, and they are a pest. Cardstock around to scoop them up and uh, fling them out the back door. There you go. There you go. Give them the, uh, the big old yeet, the supreme yeet. Also, uh, thank you, Arthur and Raven, for the beans. Thank you very much. Leia, you were just beginning to tell us the story of Fremthur, the stonemason's son, and the wager of Odin and Volgian. Yes. All right. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. <laughs> or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. So off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. <laughs> and this mason, this giant in disguise. His name was Hrimthur. He just smiled to see me. And as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now, too, technically. 
He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. Ooh. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if nice. Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... <laughs> then it is already Ragnarok. Ah, blast it. I hoped it might have given us another way. <laughs> another That's a cool story. Camp. Kratos, we should do something about them. That is a really cool story. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Let me see if I can change that for you, Arthur. Um, <clears throat> caption size. <clears throat> so basically, uh, what had happened is that the giant that was building the wall around um, Asgard... Um, had to do it in so many cycles of the season or or uh you know they wouldn't give him any uh anything for his work and he did it and all he had asked was a audience with the queen and so what happened is odin burst in uh half drunk uh before noon which is typical as guardian way and then he um had her meet with this giant and the giant uh had asked her um to make sure that the uh the asgardian gods uh burned for killing his father and she said that she was technically asgardian too because she's married to odin uh but he kind of knew better but basically what we find out then is the i'm paraphrasing here of course uh Mimir wanted to know what the uh, fault in the wall was so we could exploit it, but only uh, Suter will know. Um, and Suter is already heading there for Ragnarok. So that's kind of the, the abridged version of what just happened. And I, I did change the subtitle size to large, so maybe that'll help out a little bit. Man, I think uh, fists work better on these guys. There we go. There we go. That is all of them. <clears throat> Ooh, this looks pretty nice. This looks like some good loot. Cyclone of Chaos. So that's our light uh, runic for Blades of Chaos. <clears throat> so two of these camps we found light and heavy runic uh, for the blades. Maybe we can find some runic attacks for our uh, Leviathan eggs. Poor things. They can smell more danger. Uh, the wolves fear that which can no longer hurt them. The horrors of our past can be inextricable from the present. You have to understand that. So those familiar with the first game, uh, we spent our time canoeing around uh, the Lake of the Nine uh, during God of War 2018. Now it's all frozen over from Finbol winter, so we're riding our uh, dog sled around. Watch the fire! Rot! 
I didn't mean to switch arrows. I get a fancy new uh, runic and then I choose not to use it. <laughs> oh, that is really good. Maybe the wolves will cease their whining. Ooh, Viking's gift. Luminous alloy. That's pretty nice. Okay, map. Okay. So those are all raider keeps. Not sure. Okay, let's do these and then the we'll go. Uh... I grow tired of your lack of empathy for your own wolves. It's Demos, isn't it, brother? I should not have told you, Demos. <laughs> you see yourself in these wolves, in their fear. Let us keep moving. Yet, yeah, don't show emotion. It's very dangerous for a Spartan to show emotion. <laughs> we should do something. Yeah. <laughs> Coco, thanks for the beer. About them and put your wolves at ease. Uh, also, Arthur, does the increased uh, game subtitles, uh, is that large enough now? <laughs> yeah, that's a ton of beer. <laughs> I don't have enough to uh, dive into like that. Wow. <coughs> I didn't realize how low on health I got there. And let us try again. <clears throat> At least we don't have to run all the way from a nearby bonfire. Oh! <laughs> 
Should have saved my rage for this guy. This game is so good. Oh, he's healing himself. Fitting end for a warrior. Was he the one who captured the wolves? The leader of the Cold Raiders will threaten the wolves of Midgard no longer. Atreus has grown close to Specky and Svana since their rescue, but over time I have come to rely on them as well. They are loyal and well-mannered, for the most part. I hope I have been able to put their troubled minds at ease now that this Olaf will never lay hands on them again. Yeah, we don't need rage. Just uh, semi-calculated gameplay. <laughs> oh, okay, I got my death count. I was starting to think I forgot. You hear that, Wolves of Midgard? No more worries. Boy, you, you can dream easy. I do not know. Hmm. Regardless, they should draw some comfort from his death. <laughs> Imbued with the dormant thunder and lightning, uh, guarded jealously by the coal raiders of Midgard. Very cool. Like, I'm telling you, the side missions are so good in this game that you can just get lost doing those and just, you know, the main game is just as good. They're still scared. Not of the raiders. Hmm. 
of you, perhaps? Do not. Do not be afraid. You are safe. Oh. Good. Good boys. Girls. <laughs> girls. Good girls. Aww. You're adorable. <gasps> Besties. I love that. That might be the best trophy of the entire game. And you're going to be hard-pressed to uh, convince me otherwise. Not long ago, we rescued a pack of wolves from raiders on the Lake of Nine. Despite my warnings, Atreus decided to name them. Having these two pull the sled has made transportation significantly easier. Specky and Svana have served us well and been welcome companions on this leg of our journey. I see their need for affection. I feel a desire to protect them and bring them comfort. I am pleased that we were able to rid the realm of the raiders who slayed their kin. If it is within my power, I will let no wolf suffer the same fate. Dire Puppers. Is that a frost troll? He won't be happy to see us. Music. It's so good. <laughs> Something tells me the, the blades are going to be a, a little more effective against him. Yeah, that's true. We don't have enough ale for Big Boy. Haglecorn? A troll we encountered in Midgard. The winds carried its stench so far I could smell it long before I saw it. Fighting these beasts in the dead of winter is one of the few ways to keep warm without a fire. I, I appreciate this. However, we may run out of trolls. <laughs> Typical Kratos. From the giants of Jotunheim that can be slotted? Ooh. What does this one do? Um, increases Kratos' maximum rage. Okay, so it's the same as the other thing. Yeah. Ooh, it does raise strength, though. No, wait, the one we have equipped raises strength. Okay, token of elemental evasion. 
Uh, dodge rolling will hasten the expiration of, ooh, we want that. Yeah, I definitely want that. Roll to put out the fire. Oh, we could have used this. Yeah. Stop, drop, and roll enchantment. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. <laughs> okay. Map. Where's the rest of our missions here? Something your brother said. The ace here burned him. Yes. We weren't yet at war, but relations with the Vanir and Aesir had been hostile for ages. Wait. Let us look this way. The oarsmen. Ugh. A monument of conquerors. Made some lovely warships, though. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Oh, this is where we were with the Treus earlier on, I think. Oh, not good. Yeah, I'll use some rage. I'll use some rage. There we go. One down. There's a place you gotta go. I'm the one you need to know. I'm the map. I'm the map. <laughs> I am the map. That is an excellent map song. Use your shield! shield sound is uh, very nice. the uh, top there, Kratos, but that'll do. That'll do. Oh, hey. We can uh, burn that away.
Ooh, waste card of guiding light. Armor found scattered across the Lake of Nine, crafted from treasures brought to the realm by Tyr. Well, let's attach that thing. Oh, to honor Tyr. Increases the user's luck. Well, it doesn't decrease anything else, and it looks pretty cool, so... Iron Peace. Not a golden war. Tyr used to talk about how heavy the cost of war was compared to its bounties. He felt like it was his responsibility to avoid it. Kind of still does, in fact. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> You won't believe it, Lindy. This crest belongs to Fjotrlund. Fjotrlund, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. Oh, God. Oh, hey. What now? <laughs> Yep. Uh, I figured I was going to die right there. My health was getting pretty low. And then Death Counter needs a little... It was getting lonely tonight. We got a little more of a workout on Monday night, so it was getting lonely. Number three. Oh, nope, get out of there. Right side. Goodness, Wooly. Not good. Yep, dead again. <clears throat> Boy, I need to be quicker than that. <clears throat> yep, need to be quicker than that. Okay. And don't use my Bifrost attack too early. Oh! Yeah, getting too hungry with my attacks. Oh, there we go. spoke of growing up with these people before she joined the Valkyries. It's hard to imagine uh, Sigrun anything but uh, <clears throat> completely violent. Because she kicked my tail a large number of times in... Uh, Looks like there's a staircase on the other side. <laughs> In God of War 2018. Uh, 
<clears throat> I did get the platinum trophy in that game, though. Very well worth doing. Oh, wait. I need to hit the horns. If I remember anything. Missed it. Missed my mark. Here we go. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. Now we're uh now we're fighting with fire. Now we are fighting with fire. Welcome, brother. Watch yourself. <laughs> That attack, <laughs> that attack does big damage, big, big damage. Welcome, brother. Watch yourself. <laughs> Jeez. Come on. Oh, 
Okay. We're doing a little bit better now. Oh, nope. Come on, Freya. Help us out. There we go. We're doing okay. <laughs> One cutscene. Yeah, well, just a little bit. <laughs> oh no, not good. Not good. Nope. Ah, oh, come on. Just a bad aim on that one. We'll get this one. We'll get this one. This one's tough. And I'm not even... Bear in mind, I'm not even playing on Gimme God of War. <laughs> this is just on normal. Watch yourself. Oh man, I really wasted my rage on that one. <laughs> Oh, bad, bad, bad. Yep. <laughs> I deserve that one. <clears throat> wow. I might double my death count for the game tonight. Hey, sword. Thanks for the, uh, the cute birds. Oh, that's a Marulu. Marilu. It's a Marilu emote. That is cute. That is a cute one. I'm home. Excellent. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're doing well. Oh, come on. Yeah, you talk a lot of nonsense for a horse. I'm working on it, Freya. I'm working on it. Nope, nope. Okay, that one's down. I'm guessing the guy is down too. Excellent. Too quick. <laughs> she got me. She got me again. She got me again. We'll get this. <clears throat> oh, 
I'm pretty sure this is optional boss, but, uh, you know. You know how I am with optional bosses. Oh, come on. <laughs> Actually hit somebody, Kratos. Like, she's got a quick arrow that's annoying. There we go. Oh. I was hoping maybe <laughs> she would have glitched out. <clears throat> hoping maybe she glitched out right there. There we go. Alright. Oh, we got Runic Full. Which is good. Told me her kingdom housed a great treasury filled with the spoils of her family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Is that all she told you, Mimir? Did she say where? No, just that she <laughs> kept it hidden. Oh, there's our little spy in the sky. Maybe we can climb up. Yeah, let's climb up there. <clears throat> nice. Made it through. Oh, wait, left something down there. Ah, oh, that frozen thunderbolt is so dang cool. Oh, 
All right, Kratos. I don't know. There it is. The other staircase. Okay, can we hit him from here? Close. Oh, so very close. No, get back over there. Got him. Uh, one more. We just need one more to get a, a chest in Niflheim. Okay, so now we have a way back and forth between there. <clears throat> oh, of course. Yeah, we don't need them converging. No converging. <laughs> over there can shed some light yeah <clears throat> what no she never mentioned okay woe to the great princess Sigrun her heart is broken and her mind may follow she committed a sin for which there can be no redemption she loved the wrong man handsome of face and congenial of smile he was perfect except for his name, King Helgi. Sigrun's father, King Hogni, would never approve of such a marriage for one simple reason. This was the name of his old enemy. So strong was Hogni's hatred of Helgi that he would never allow that man into his home. But Sigrun loved him still, and so the endeavored, so she endeavored to convince her father that she should be could be stronger than hatred. She was mistaken. That's sad. That is indeed sad. Is that a key? Hmm. Wonder what lock that key belongs to. No lock. It is broken. Not broken. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find its partner. <laughs> Getting all the side quests today. Might not have made much uh, main story progress, but uh, Amulet of Idrasilla can be used to allow the amulet to hold something. Man, I wish these didn't go by so quickly so I could read it out loud. Oh, to hold additional enchantments. Okay. So if I go to... The amulet. Oh, I need to repair it at the shop. Cool.
All right, so there's one here. One here. So that one seemed to stay quite a while. So maybe it's that one first. This one second. And that one third. Oh, not quick enough. Gotta be quicker than that. So can we hit it from here? Good gravy. I need better aim than that. Oh, did I get it? All B. <laughs> Felt like it was not a winning run. Sweet. Health increase. I needed that. Could have used that before the last battle, but you know. It is what it is. Namir, what did those runes say? Sigrun. She loved another. A king named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come, Namir. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? Aye. Suppose I did. <laughs> Oh, poor Mimir. <laughs> All right, so I'm not sure how I get over to that realm terror at the moment. So... I'm just going to go this way. Go check out this other thing real quick. And then we'll advance the story. I think. It'd be cool to meet the fates tonight. Do you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. <laughs> Oh, hey. Is that Brock? Sindri? scouted ahead. The lake's crawling with raiders. Be careful. <sighs> Appreciate it. And we can fix that, uh... Make for you? Amulet slot. Sweet. Let's see, we can't craft uh, the cool stuff yet. Pommels of Brutal Might. I mean, sounds pretty awesome. Now let's upgrade the uh, stone cutters knob. <clears throat> nice. Anything for Freya? Nope. What'll it be? 
We don't have the parts. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting to upgrade my skills. <laughs> There's a whole skill tree. <laughs> Imagine that. When barehanded, to quickly recall Leviathan Axe, perform a powerful spinning attack. Okay. Also cool. Greatly increases permafrost charge. I can dig that. That is sweet. Once a new stance, uh, press R1, R1, R1. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to have to practice these. Heck yeah. Uh, I guess we're going heavy on the Leviathan Axe. <laughs> How did your brother come to be burned by the Aesir? Well. No more for now. Focus. <laughs> Oh, yes, that is sweet. Okay. Now that I'm done playing. Secret when you saw her last. She's still incorporeal ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. Oh, missed it. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. Yeah, worn full enemy of my enemy is my friend territory with Freya. <clears throat> okay, so this one is blades, I think. <laughs> Something tells me we're gonna have to scale for this next one. <clears throat> Okay. Check this message really quick here. Okay. All good. All good. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. <laughs> 
So how am I going to reach that area then? Because there's that one. <clears throat> there. And where's our, our third one? <clears throat> oh, our third one is right there. Is it? No. No, that is our second one. <laughs> Here we go. Right here. And and where is the third one? Where are you? Oh, is it even going to allow me to get back up that way? Probably not. Okay. Was our third one back in this area even? Are they being tricksy? Maybe it's just further ahead. Oh. <laughs> Staring me right in the face. Would you look at that? More rage? Oh, heck yeah. If you're ready to find the Norns, let's get back to your sled. Is that a frozen lightning bolt? My fight with Thor ended there. That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of tear statue all over the lake. <clears throat> okay. Guiding light. Look, there's some debris over there. I'm guessing from Tyr's poor statue. Cool. Oh, boy. What's a guiding light? Boy. 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 Joe and Tay, welcome in. Good to see you. How's it going? How is your Wednesday? Uh, how was the rest of your stream? Uh, last night. I kind of entered a extended lurk mode. Um, did I also get a chest armor for that too? Nope, I don't think I did. Defend the peace. Well, I think that's the last of it. Doubtful we'll find any more interesting bits. I always admire... 
Defend the peace. Iron peace, not a golden war. All pretty good stuff. Uh, going quite well. Where I come from. Uh, finishing up the first two areas. Nice. Not all gods of war. Because you're working on Hellblade on 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 Tuesdays, right? Is this both of your first playthrough on it, or Joe? Have you played it before? Oh yeah. Um, we need to equip. There we go. Oh, and Thursdays. Uh, you should get you should get through it pretty quickly, I would imagine. <clears throat> Platinum it, but it's been almost five years. What a wonderful game! Very, very excited for the second one. Whenever that's gonna hit. Whatever year we get that. In the middle of a solo duty in Final Fantasy XIV in a string of cutscenes. Oh no. Oh no. Can we get some Fs in chat for AC? That is really rough. Really rough, dude. <clears throat> Finished by Tuesday night. Yeah, I think it took me about four streams to do it. To refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I had it. Would you like to and then know? God of War 2018. Nice. What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I I'm no longer sure that I do. That's correct. Well, I really want help find your Valkyrie wings. Well, this armor. The place, I guess. Oh, there's We're something not. in there. But yes. And I think I just missed it. Yep. Argued all the while I should let my anger go. But there we go. Just the same. Yes, breastplate of guiding light. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, full set. You can't let a full set of armor uh, go unfinished. There's just something that seems incredibly sinful about said activity. <laughs> All right. I think it was back here. To be burned by the Well. Freyer got it into his head that he could Back here where we were needing to go. Our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests. Enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. Old. What is that? Another gravestone. But this one's intact. Hold on. Prepare for battle. Ooh. This is cool. Oh. He's fast. Oh. Oh. I'm going to need to do better than that. Gonna need to do a lot better than that. That feels a lot more like a Souls boss than a God of War boss. <clears throat> Am I underleveled for this? Um, you think? <laughs> well, we will hold on it for now then. All right, so Freya, where is Seagram now? Impossible to say. Oh, so they're pointing She's the way. A mission spanning the realms in search of our lost sisters. Our hope is if she can bring their incorporeal spirits to battle. I just wasn't watching the dogs' uh, heads enough earlier. Forms. Okay. Where are we going, girls? Where are we going? So this way, or... Nope. This way. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, the Valkyries. Yeah. This is the area. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Where's the spy I from the sky? In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Where's our sky spy? I hear it. Kratos, I feel the Norns <laughs> over here. Are you ready? No, not quite ready yet. Um, you know, I've been toying around with a few ideas. Um, because <clears throat> I kind of want to do something that's got you know a W. Uh, cause I kind of like theme today's, um, before this, I had put a vote up for like ghost wire, like do like ghost wire Wednesday or even, uh, Witcher Wednesday because I've never played Witcher three and now it does have next gen updates. So I definitely would like to play that, but that's also a really long game too. And I kind of feel like maybe getting a few shorter games in. So I'm not quite sure yet, to be honest. Uh, why can't I climb that? Oh, because Freya wants to just go, 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 go. Well, okay then, Freya. Open up. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap. Oh. It's too fast. Use your shield. Beat up. Left flank. The alpha. Behind you. You know what? Let's just do this. <laughs> oh, you're playing it off stream. Nice. Do you think it would translate well to streaming or in your opinion? Do you think it's captivating enough gameplay and story-wise that people would enjoy watching it? This search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. You would stream fine. It kind of forces you to read subtitles. Oh, that's cool, though. As long as they give you kind of enough time to catch up with those. Um. <laughs> Let's see. What's uh? What is this? Oh. Just ripping trees. Okay, where? Aware. Oh, wait. I can climb up there now. Now that uh, Freya is done. Now that she's done with her whole spiel. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? Okay, where is this bird? <laughs> I've expanded my inventory since we last spoke. Where is the bird? Good thing we didn't miss this. You know, I kind of dig that. Oh, 
Nope, not enough to upgrade that. That's fine. No need to thank me. Where's the board? No, it's close. I hear it, but... So you already got the platinum on this, right, Joe? I'll take whatever you manage to sell it from us, though. If I'm not mistaken. Aye, this place must have been part of Seagram's kingdom. A first outpost preceding further expansion. <clears throat> Another crane. <sighs> All right. I'll worry about the bird later. Yep. Nope. We don't need a white. Because those things are frightening. There we go. This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep. And a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell. That's pretty cool. Casualties caused. 78 dwarven, 3 other. Method of imprisonment. Nuts slumber. Prison located. Location Midgard. Date of release. Never. Unless the witches of Anaheim come up with the potion that turns aggression into something cuddlier. <laughs> Even if you come into possession of a rousing relic, don't use it unless you're itching for a fight. Imprisonment overseen by A.S., as in one letter away from what you can kiss <laughs> if you keep making me carve reports into these tablets. <laughs> nice. Oh, hey. There's a bird over there. Okay, can't jump up there. Sad to see Seagrin's homeland in such a terrible state. You know, Mimir, if you want to take a tour of her kingdom, you might not like everything you find. So she loved another before me. There are worse things to discover about someone you love. Yes, there certainly hmm. are. That's true. <laughs> right. Hop and a skip. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a spot here. Oh, we can't do anything with it. We need to raise that. Oh, there's a path here. Would you look at that? Oh, my God. 
There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, and look at that. another one too yep oh wrong time to use it behind you look out come on freya <laughs> help me out here Here we go. Well, that was uh, quite pleasant. Time to move. <laughs> Nope, nope, pick up the item. A musical pick it up. instrument from your homeland, isn't it? Can you. Oh, a liar. Stringed instrument, a liar, to be precise. Uh, Kratos says he knows how to play, but refuses to do so, which means he's either lying, possible, or determined to deprive me of a good time, also possible. Though, come to think of it, this is probably one of the few surviving artifacts from his homeland. Plucked the liar strings, uh, or plucking the liar strings, might well take his mind back to that place. That may well be a journey he's not yet ready to go on. Play. <clears throat> yes. Will you? No. All right, there's got to be another way over there. Got to be another way over there. No, I want the health. What you don't understand is I want the health. Oh, okay, cool. Was there anything? Oh, the path forward is that way. But I want loot, so we're going to get loot first. Loot first, progress second. Always. <clears throat> always, always, always. That is the way. That is the way to do it. Very nice. And then we're going to go back this way. Are 
Is that up? Go over here. Okay. Enemy behind you, Kratos. So, this, and then... Oh, that is a nice combo. I love that. I'm going to be using that as much as I can. <clears throat> Some good uh, crowd-clearing moves right there. Okay. Oh. We gotta lower it and then spin it and then raise it back up. What do you mean I can't chop that down? Oh, missing items over here. <laughs> yeah, I guess well that done. works. I was hoping there was more to that one. That is the cutest little dancing bird. I love it. I love it. I love it. Maybe those runes can give us a bit of history about this place. Yeah, maybe they can, but loot before runes. That can't be. It is. Oh, Mamir. Ooh, staggering area effect uh, that deals frost. So this is heavy, sweet. And what did the rune say? Because we missed it. Oh, is that a Betty White? Given the bird. <laughs> That is a very good bird emote. It is a very, very good bird emote. Um, rune reads. Right? No, it's a uh, lore marker, right? <clears throat> I 
ash to ash, bone to bones. Where love cannot live, death takes hold. Here are the words of Prince Dogger. My spear drips righteous and red from the blood of that cad King Helgi. My father in his wisdom denied him the hand of my sister, Princess Sigrun, knowing his true and dark nature. Enraged by this slight, King Helgi gathered his forces and invaded our land, determined to claim his bride. His murderous soldiers dipped their swords into the hearts of all who opposed their unclean union. Mother, father, all my brothers hunted down and slaughtered, all because he was denied my fair sister. The only male of my line left standing. I impaled the villain, Helgi, on my spear, did my duty, and avenged my family. My goodness. That's pretty rough. Look, the other half of the key. I knew those key pieces would fit. Can't wait to see what lock it belongs to. Well, we need to find out. Pretty cool sword right there. Oh, I love those Yoshi bongos too. Those are fun. Oh no, that's just wonderful. It's not what I wanted to fight. How about you come over here and fight? Oh, nice. <laughs> it fell into the deep. Where it definitely belongs. <laughs> Helgi massacred her family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. Sigrun and her brother had issues over that. Oh, and all the time I'd Sigrun say. and I spent with each other, she never mentioned anything about this. <clears throat> Maybe she liked the way you saw her. Well, at least your love for her didn't cause, you know... An entire massacre of her family, Mimir. Although she didn't have the uh, family to massacre. Uh, anyway, I'm. <laughs> it is a sad story. All right, where is this? I hear it, but I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Found it. Nice. Hmm. 
<laughs> they are sleepy girls. And Sword uh, Roxy went to the vet today and got her nails trimmed. And she was so excited. Not to be uh, at the vet, <laughs> mind you. I had to carry her in and I have to help the uh, vet techs hold her because she hates getting her nails trimmed. But she had a lot of good relief uh, up another trail. Keep following their heads. from getting them trimmed because she had some long ones and I think they were causing her some pain. So She was running around like a pup again tonight and it was very nice to see. Yeah. What do you recall of the Aesir turning on Freya? Oh, he certainly didn't deserve it. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freya was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. Wait. That building. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye. Very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. Alright, now that they're all, uh, you know... Oh yeah, that is a nice move. Oh, I don't need to go die in here. Wait. There we go. The shield that's blocking the entrance. It looks exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. It's another piece of Tyr's likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lodged right into this building, apparently. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. Nope. Alright. So what can we do here? Oh, hey. We can go over here. Look at that. And we can proceed. <laughs> Only to find a locked gate. Okay, there's a key there and there. Oh, we can rotate it. But we can't reach it with the shield there. Oh, wait. Wait, no, Kratos. Um, wrong weapon. Go to that one. And let's hit that. There we go. There's one. Aha. Those weren't keys. They were climbing marks. That's pretty cool. But they looked like keys. <laughs> Demolition. <laughs> Oh, that is fun. <laughs> Can I go? No, nope, I can't go around that way. Good, that's the way. Nice. All right, there's another one up there. Oh, 
Okay. So what we're going to do, I think, is just use Freya's uh, arrows. To create us a little. Alright, that's two out of three. Two out of three ain't bad, right? <clears throat> What's that? What's what? What's what? Freya. What are you looking at? Oh, maybe by knocking it with a thing, it knocks something out of the shield? Oh. So now if we... that there right but I'm curious if I recall my axe that's gonna nope not what I wanted Wow, Wooly. I need better aim than that. Yeah, so that just does that. I can't jump up there, can I? Nope, it's too high. <clears throat> can I jump up right here? Nope. Can I climb? Boy. 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 Taika, welcome in. Good to see you. Yeah, this one is a bit of a head scratcher, I think. Um, the puzzle. The puzzle. Not the puppies. <laughs> Hopefully your Thursday morning is off to a great start, Taika. Good to see you. Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome in. <laughs> Could be useful. Okay. Well, could be or is. Uh, let's see here. Well done. Now we just need to open the gate. Okay, but how do I freeze both of these then? Is my question. <clears throat> Should be raining heavily when I leave work. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh for us it's uh still quite snowy here. <laughs> going going quite well though. Um we took Roxy to the, the vet earlier to get her nails trimmed and she was running around like a little pup today. It was so cute to see that old girl playing around like that. And of course, she hates the vet, so we took her out for ice cream afterward because uh, she deserved it. <laughs> um, how do I freeze that one? Oh, that's right. Nope. 
bring it back. There we go. You'll have to get through the gate faster. Okay. Well done. Run, run, run. There we go. It's got to be quicker than that. <laughs> yep. She hates the vet, so we usually take her for ice cream afterward. Because <laughs> she just shakes the entire time. She is not a fan of the vet. But vets do amazing work for our pets, so we are happy. My arrows can't go through walls, I'm afraid. We're happy to have vets, that's for sure. Well, you were supposed to come in here. Oh, hey. Together again, Mamir. Does this look like an abandoned treasury to you? Aye, it does. It's Seagrin's family crest. Looks like a vault door to me. Now that we have both halves to that key, we should see if it matches that lock. But let's go outside and get our treasure first. Let's get our treasure. Now let's go get more treasure. Family Vault of Sigrun, the Valkyrie. Kratos! Oh no, this is not good. Hey! Hey! That's my beer. <laughs> That's my beer. But you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Hagel, thank you so much for the raid, dude. How was your stream? Hopefully you're doing well. <laughs> How was your stream? What were you playing? Some more some more fractured? Some South Park? How's it going, dude? Happy, happy Wednesday. Hopefully you're well. And uh, how did your stream go? Uh, let's get a shout out for Hagel. Hagel does uh, charity streams and he has done extra live streams for the past how many years again? You're going to have to remind me until it's just stuck in my brain. Uh, but very, very giving person. So go say hello next time he's live. It will be uh, much appreciated. Lift the hydration tears for you. Tenth year this year, my goodness. That's insane, dude. <clears throat> and PETA, going to bed soon, but want to stop by for a few. Well, you're more than welcome for a few or longer than a few, my friend. And Hagel, you just got done streaming, so I understand if you need to uh, raid and run. Uh, but definitely take care of yourself, dude. All right? And uh, you're more than welcome to hang out here, but I also know you're uh, sticking away from spoilers on this game, too. So please go say hello to Hagel next time he's live and also uh, drop all the hearts in chat. Uh, picked up a few followers and hoping to make the affiliate push. Because <clears throat> I know you have enough followers, right? You just need that magic, what is it, that magic three number? That one was tough. That like three, a three viewer average is really, really tough when you're uh, when you're new on Twitch. New as in just, you know, new to doing the affiliate push. Sorry, I need a lozenge for my cough, so bear with me just one second. I'm trying to stick away from spoilers too, but I've come to the conclusion I won't be buying it in a while, so my goldfish brain will probably do its job. That's kind of uh, how I'm hoping things will be for Bloodborne with me. Because I've seen some boss battles on Bloodborne, but I just don't remember the mechanics of it, so I think I'll be alright. 
<laughs> Can we lead him out into the open? Uh, stream's going pretty good tonight. It's, uh... <laughs> I've added quite a bit to the death counter here. And I might be under leveled for this boss, but we'll find out, right? Not a fan of this enemy. And I can't keep tanking hits like that either. Oh, yep. Love to stay, but I'm off to Dreamland. Have the best, best sleeps there, ape, and uh, take care of yourself, my friend. Let me get all the hearts in chat for PETA, please. Dude, take care of yourself. Have all the best dreams, and uh, say hello to pizza from us, too, by the way. Good night, my friend. Oh, no, no. See? That's all it takes. Just a few more hits and... Uh... <laughs> yeah, Kratos went to uh, Dreamland, too. I have a feeling this is just going to be a lot of uh, just a long battle. Just a long, long battle of just trading blows. Nope. And if I could parry, that would be one thing. Oh, I think the sound arrows might work on his shield, but I need... Freya, get out here. Freya, get out here. No, hit it, hit his shield, Freya. Come on. Um, it is for me. Dude, Hegel, take care of yourself, my friend. Thanks again for the raid. Thank you very, very much. And uh, are you just streaming every Wednesday for the time being? So I want to make sure people know when you're live. Thank you so very much, dude. It is much, much appreciated. Um, for those that came over at the raid, too, my name is Uncle Wooly. I play Souls games on Monday nights. Wednesdays, I'm working on God of War Ragnarok. And Friday, bright and early, we do uh, Final Fantasy Friday. Currently playing Crisis Core Reunion. Ooh, that was really nasty. Wednesday for now. Are you almost done with uh, South Park? I know you're <laughs> probably heading out, but just want to make sure I got things right. Nope. Oh, at least uh, we had our shield up for that. Ouch. Ouch, that hurt. Uh-oh. Well, that's another death. Should have finished it tonight. Oh, that's fair. Well, hopefully you finish it next week, dude. Oh, yeah. That's rough on a school night. On a work night. On a schooly work night. 
Can we get the hearts in chat for Hegel, please? Six AM gets here whether we want to or not. There we go. There we go. Enjoy your lurk, dude. Thank you very much for that raid. You're on fire, Kratos. It will pass. Well, I don't know how to stop him from that spell, though, so. That wisp is replicating. No. No. No replication. <laughs> um. Mm hmm. This is going to be a challenge. Don't let him complete his spell. Nope. Nasty hit. Oh wow. Can't really avoid that, can we? Oh, cool. His armor is uh, chunking off. Good. Yep. Yeah, I don't want him in here. I don't want them in there. There we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> I need to dodge sideways and not backward. I am so bad at that, even in Souls games. I'm so bad at dodging backward. Yep. Oh, I should have opened that. Yeah, I'm um, see I'm guilty of it. Come on out. Come on out. There's no way I'm going to survive that spell indoors. There we go. Okay, that's how you do it. That's how we do it. Watch it. Alpha. Here we go. 
Yeah, Freya, get him. that health <laughs> but it's risky it's risky it's risky close. Well, we got close last time, too. He's got more armor off. Oh, there we go. There we go. These travelers prioritize the use of shields when it comes to their combat style of choice. It makes hitting them quite a bit more difficult than the given surface area would suggest. What qualifications are there in order to become a champion in the traveler's eyes? I doubt it's as simple as shield proficiency. A shield that size on their back is certainly a choice. You might get the better of a traveler, but safe to say you'll never stab one in the back. Yeah, that wasn't fun. But I'm happy I did it. Uh, Freya? Here sits Prince Dogger. I can't believe he's still here. Prince Dogger? That the corpse of Sigrun's brother? How do you end up like that then? Freya? Why won't you answer me? Are you certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Hmm. There never was a love as passionate and sordid as the one that took root between fair princess Sigrun and the foreign king Helgi. Helgi begged for her hand, but Sigrun's father, King Hogni, refused. And so Helgi raised a terrible army and descended upon her land, murdering all who opposed their union. King, queen, princes, all laid dead, all except for Sigrun's brave brother, Prince Dogger. Valiant Dogger took his spear and ran it through Mad King Helgi. When the princess discovered her lover dead by her brother's hand, rage blinded her, and she did inflict a curse on him most foul. But as her vision returned and she saw her entire family dead, she realized her mistake. It was too late. The curse on her brother had taken hold. From the depths of grief came heartbreaking regret, and it overwhelmed her. In penance for her sins, she cast off her riches, title, and throne to dedicate her mind, body, and soul to the mighty Valkyries. A vow she made, she did make, to tuck her heart away, for her love was too dangerous. It seems Sigrun put a curse on her brother for killing the Mad King. No, truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. Once she did, it was too late. 
She had cursed her brother. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. You knew all about Sigrun's family, didn't you, Freya? It was not my story to tell. Funny. Sigrun, the Valkyrie Queen, was the most lethal opponent Atreus and I faced in our prior adventures. Long ago, she was loved by Mimir, and clearly he remembers her warmly. But her utmost loyalty is to Freya, having aided her in restoring the warrior spirit and recovering her Valkyrie wings. Learning all this only makes me love yeah. her more. Yeah. She chose me despite my flaws, my regrets. Knowing she has some of her own makes me feel closer to her. I am glad to hear it. That is very, very sweet. <clears throat> and all we get out of it is some hack silver? No way. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> so, these are the Valing schematics, eh? You know of him. I, one of the most gifted dwarven smiths of. These pages are very old and could be anywhere. It is likely the relics outlined in these diagrams are very powerful. So we have found pages torn from an ancient tome. The pages contain diagrams of long forgotten sword hilts. If we can find the ingredients, I believe the dwarves can craft these relics once again. Well, I am excited about it. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. <laughs> All right. I have a feeling like we're probably going to need to save the fates for next week. But we could progress the story just a bit more before I end. I did start stream late today after all, so. Do you regret it, Tamir? Most likely. Uh, what are we talking about in particular? Giving up your body? Do I regret exchanging my life for my freedom? That's a question I ask myself every day, my lady. What about oh, today? We're definitely going the wrong way. Glad to be out in the world. How else could I spend such quality time with you? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> You're a charming dude, Mimir. Mimir, what did you mean when you said Frey was not exactly a guest of the Aesir? I meant by the time they burned him, he'd been a prisoner for some time. Odin didn't mind locking Freya up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted, who tied him up and lit him aflame as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. Enough talk for now. Be ready. Hmm. We need to work our way up. This way. Yeah, I was already here before, though. That's the problem I have. <laughs> I was already here. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the Norns making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. <laughs> Okay, what's really cool is sequences like that. It's hard to describe, but the uh, DualSense controller on the PS5 um, has a lot of feedback in the adaptive triggers when you do that, and it is very, very immersive and satisfying. Like, it gives it, like, a good amount of tension to it. Nice. Right, give him what for? I don't know nice. what the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Well, they're doing it.
All right, can I see a raven from here or? Hey, thanks for the new follow. Welcome in. They're anonymous here, but if you want to hop in chat and say hello, you're more than welcome. Thanks for the new follow. My name's Uncle Wooly, and this is my first playthrough of uh, God of War Ragnarok. And it's uh, pretty dang amazing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but right on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Get out of the way, Wooly. Get out of the way there. Oh, not good. We are not doing good health-wise. <laughs> I got a little too greedy there. Freya, can you can you help a brother out here? Nope. That's okay. That is a-okay. We live to fight another day, right? We shall prevail. Not good. Here we go. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Got to use our Bifrost a little more effectively. Nice. Okay, I feel something. It's stronger this time. Over here. But there's a raven back this way that I didn't get. Hey, and it's right there. Nice. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> that is true. Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Mm. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Yeah, sounds pretty welcoming, right? Kratos, ghost of Sparta, bane of Olympus, destroyer of fate. Cruel striker, bringer of war, weapon of the gods turned against his creators. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. He cannot change. 
Okay. Don't leave so this is like the last guy. we don't have the shield to deal with on this one. But the Bifrost attacks do nothing. Okay. Nice. Yeah. That one was much easier. Much easier than the last one. Are we in our own minds yet? He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. Uh oh. Can we go back? <laughs> Is it too late to go back? <clears throat> we do not want those things to be real. We forge ahead. That we do. Nice. Our good friends, the elves. This place almost looks familiar. Yeah. But different. Like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. <laughs> These fates should know I will not be deterred. Brother, I had a thought. Will you have a hard time of its life today? Stream buffering? Oh. I'm sorry about that. What sorry to hear that. Stealthy approach to our next battle. <clears throat> no. Is it a regular hard drive in there, or is it a SSD? Oh, yes. So definitely, definitely recommend that. <laughs> uh, an SSD is going to be a game changer for you, I think. Freya of the Vanier. Master of magics, queen of the Valkyries, witch of the woods, frig of Asgard, destroyer of all she would hope to protect. <laughs> there we go. No more shields. Somebody to blame. She cannot. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, I want to get a second SSD for my uh, PC. My first one's just starting to run out enough space. And I've been working on some more video projects, so it's like, I need, uh, need the room. Probably could have done this without the rage, but it helps. Oh, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Is it fast as... <laughs> yeah, new SSDs are so quick. Let's see, how do I get to the treasure? 
Mamir of the AC. Ah, here we go. Counselor to kings. Merry wanderer of the woods. Robin of the good fellows. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. <laughs> See? You forgot, smartest man alive. <laughs> I really dislike these enemies. There we go. There we go. Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. <laughs> I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. <laughs> Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole... Recently upgraded some other parts. I was wondering why it's still so laggy and turns out the writing speed of my SSD had dropped. Oh, no. Yeah, that's not good. Who approached them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! Alka! It's vulnerable when it glows! Alka! Uh oh The core is weakened! Close in! Attack! Alpha. Okay. I see how this is going. Here we go. Need to take out those springs, brother. That's it. Okay, so it's a three three step boss battle. Give yourself an opening. Don't waste it. This is cool. This battle is awesome. <laughs> really digging this. Oh. Not good. Oh, there we go. Well, yet another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. Sweet. That was awesome.
It's old, but it served well. Yeah. Ooh. Do I get more uh, amulet slots? Okay, I have to repair it now. Sweet. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. <clears throat> I think maybe I save here because I am up entirely way too late. And we will save the Norns. For our next stream. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. <laughs> oh, what a good game. What a really, really good game. Thank you, everybody that joined tonight. Also, I need to thank everybody for the raids. Uh, we got one from Demote and one from Hegel. So let me get my shout outs out of the way here. Go say hello next time they're live. It would be much, much appreciated. <laughs> 25 minutes until I have to be a productive adult. It, it is tough. <laughs> um, it is very, very tough. But I definitely need to stop streaming if I'm going to be a productive adult tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see who's online. Shall we? Uh, Prince Leo is playing some Final Fantasy 7, or not Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8. Uh, oh, uh, let's raid over to Rusa. I'm never on uh, when she's streaming, so we haven't had a chance to raid Rusa before, so we're definitely going to do that. We are definitely going to take that opportunity. Um, I will get another shout out here for Hagel. Thank you as well for the raid, dude. Much, much appreciated. And also, we'll hit you with some of that puppy cam. Uh, Rusa is still on their starting soon screen, so I'm going to try to wait until they're live before we raid over. <clears throat> Sleepy bubbles. I suppose I should hit you with a raid message, I think. Just going to do a good old fashioned Lily raid. And let me get a raid message for our non subs. All right, there's your message for the non-subs. Ooh, Bean Boozled, I can do that. That's going to sit really, really well right before bed. <laughs> that is going to sit really, really well. Yeah, we can do a bean. We can do a bean, why not? Um, it is cappuccino or liver and onions. <clears throat> My favorite, Taiko my favorite <laughs> already here's your bean cheers oh. liver and onions Ugh. gross gross Thank you for the bean. <laughs> Thank you for the bean, by the way. <clears throat> also, um, this week is full normal. <clears throat> Jeez, excuse me. This week is full normal schedule. Uh, but next week, I won't be on Fridays for Final Fantasy Friday. And as such, I will be reading a audiobook. Uh, well, I will be reading a book and putting it in audiobook form uh, for YouTube. And it's the Final Fantasy VII book on the way to a smile. So part one and part two of those will go live. Uh, one will go up on January 20th, the other one on the 27th. 
So there will still be some Final Fantasy VII content from me just over on YouTube. So if you uh, want to follow along with that, we'll schedule a book club discussion in the Discord at a future date. But it is that uh, the book behind me here. That one right there. And it is a prequel to the uh, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children uh, movie, if you're familiar with that. <clears throat> Alrighty. So we're going to raid over to Rusa Raccoon. Uh, uh, Rusa is, I believe, a Finnish uh, streamer. So should be around your neck of the woods, Taika, I think. Am I getting that correct? Do Am I remembering that correctly? And I'm going to give a shout out to Rusa in case anybody gets lost with the raid. Because that's been happening to me quite a bit lately. And raccoons are awesome, so of course we got a raid over there. So be kind, share the support. I'm sure you'll love uh, what she's doing over there. <laughs> and if you do enjoy the content, uh, be sure to leave her a follow. And, well, I'll be back with you all bright and early on Friday for some Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core Reunion, which is the game she's playing. So as I raid over, I might have to do a quick lurk, so. You pronounce the uh, Rusa or dog, ah, Rosa raccoon. Am I saying that right? You're confusing me. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Alrighty. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you very much for sharing that. Um, so we're going to raid on over. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day if you're already ahead on Thursday. Rest of your night if you're like me and just barely past midnight. Take care of yourselves. Uh, stay hydrated, okay? I mean it. Stay hydrated. Get some rest. Don't stay up too late playing God of War Ragnarok. Also, um, take care of each other. Very, very important to be nice to each other. And until Friday, my friends, where we play some Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core Reunion, cheers. Have a good one. <laughs>